Oh, you're pro-life? That's cool. So you're against war? No. The death penalty? No. Obviously, you support gun control. No. Speak out against police brutality? No. Mm, okay. Okay, so you foster and adopt children. No. You know there's over 400,000 kids in the foster care system in America right now, right? Good. Let's see. You support mandatory parental leave for new parents. No. How about government programs that help fund those kids you wanted to be born? No. So you're not really pro-life then, are ya? I mean, at best, you're pro-fetus. That is if you don't support IVF. Oh, you do? <laughs> Great. So then you're just pro-controlling women's bodies and people with uteruses. You're not pro-life. But because you see uh, a young girl gets pregnant and you shame her. And then she has that kid that you wanted her to have and use government assistance like food stamps and WIC. And what do you do? You shame her. And then those kids, unfortunately, usually grow up in poverty and or abusive homes and have their own set of issues, mental health issues, drug abuse issues, in and out of the prison system that you also don't want to reform. And what do you do? You shame them. How about if they're born gay or trans? Do you support their rights then? No. You shame them. You're not really pro-life then, are ya? What's that? You don't do any of those things? You're just against abortion. Okay, I get that. So obviously you support things like better sex education in schools, easier access to birth control options, universal health care. Hmm? No, none of those things. Even though they've all been proven to significantly lower the rates of abortions. Got it. I have an idea. Let's have all men have mandatory reversible vasectomies. And when they find someone, if they find someone who wants to procreate with them, they can go to the courts and have it removed. What's that? That infringes on your rights? It's unconstitutional? Your body, your choice? Fantastic. So in places like Texas that have these strict abortion laws, even in the case of rape or incest, if a 12 year old little girl gets raped by her uncle, now has to carry that baby to full term because it's God's will, you consider that pro-life? Let's not even go to worst case scenarios here, okay? Because the fact of the matter is, abortion is health care. My great grandmother died from a failed abortion attempt because she just couldn't afford another mouth to feed. Like it's not new. And the fact of the matter is that abortion laws do not stop abortions. They just limit women's access to get a safe one. Abortions will continue to happen and women will die. Oh, what's that? You don't care? How very pro-life of you.